again we're saying that it's going to be easier so we're going to give you an example square root of 3.98 from grade school what would you do to approximate this from grade school you know that you go to a nicer value that you can take the square root and then you use that to approximate so what's a nicer value square root of four now as I'm writing square root of four I realized that I in grade school I used the function to to approximate that uh, and this this is literally a function uh, plugged in and you plugged in 3.98 so what's that function it's f of x equal to square root of x in grade school we use just just the value of the function to approximate at, at a nicer point to approximate uh, in CAC 1, we're going to use the tangent line to approximate. So we basically add or subtract something from the value of the function. In uh, Calculus 2, you use series to approximate the function. So you use some, uh, some information with um, second derivative, third derivative, all the way. Um, to actually approximate the value of the function um, and so that actually the series what you learn in calc 2 is how your calculator computes the values of functions at, at different points they, they use uh, fixed points to find the tangent line and then uh, the fixed point to approximate and then they use the series around that fixed point to find all the other values here we just use a fixed point to find the tangent line and, and compute the rest okay so that was the that was the progression of the uh, approximation let's just stick with calc one how do we do this in calc one i know this is my function let's find the derivative of that so the first step you decide about the function then you find the derivative of that, which is 1 half of x to the power negative 1 half. This is step two. Then step three is to decide where this function is easy to compute. And I know at x equal to 4, f of 4 is going to be square root of 4 equal to 2. So you write the tangent line at x equal to 4. What's the tangent line at x equal to 4? Let's first find the m. m, I have to plug it into f prime, which is 1 half of 4 to power negative 1 half. That gives me 1 fourth. Then um, what else do I need? I need to find the f value at which I found here's the f value f of 4 is equal to 2 then I write y is equal to um, 1 fourth times x minus what's the x value 4 plus the y value which is 2 I think when you wrote the, uh, the equation of tangent line 2 came first and then the rest followed and so let's annotate this a little bit more this part finding um, the tangent line uh, so I found f prime using this part and f of 4 using that part m goes here 4 is the nice point 2 is the y value of the nice point and this becomes my tangent line now um, step 5 again let's write down the uh, tangent line l sub 4 the nice point was 4 nice input point was 4 is equal to of x is equal to uh, 2 plus 1 fourth of x minus 4, right? Now, plug in the point that you're approximating for, the input that you're approximating for. What is that? 
that's the input so you plug in f sub 4 of 3.98 and you get 2 plus 1 fourth of 3.98 minus 4 and then you compute that value and that's going to be your approximation so I, I had to go back um, the, the space in here was smaller I'm sorry that I went from this step to this step and so at this point all you need to do is this is negative 0 0.02 times 1 fourth plus 2 and this is going to give you 2 point 2 minus 0 0.02 divided by 4 is going to be 0 0.0 2 and 2 simplify, 1 divided by 2 is point, 0 0.5, and then this entire thing is going to be 1.995. And so this is the approximation that we have. So we approximate this with 1.995. Nine nine five. So it's much better approximation than you did in grade school, which was two. You you have a better approximation in here, and the re again the reason we were allowed to approximate it four was that four is your a here. This one is your a. B is very close. Three point ninety eight is very close to eight. 